I'll, I'll be needing this in diagrams. No. So the curve tracing means how to trace out the if, if a ray of light is incident in from different direction, what will happen to the first for converging lens we'll see it. If a ray of light is incident parallel to the optic axis, after refraction, it should pass through the focus. There's a one rule. <coughs> I'll come this later on. Okay, there's a one thing for converging lens. There's the first rule, okay, if a ray of light, which is parallel to optic axis, after refraction, it should pass through the focus, or it should meet the principal axis at the focus. Hmm. I know, if a ray of light passes through optic axis, or so passes through the optic center, it should go undeviated. Okay, there's a one basic rule. Then, then, then if it is incident at some arbitrary direction, then what should be the method? If it is incident in some arbitrary method. Hmm? Means arbitrary direction if it is incident. Suppose say some, the ray is incident here like this. Then after refraction, it will be in any direction, suppose if it is incident, so after refraction it, it will pass through the optic axis. So what is this converging lens? Any ray which is incident, what happens? It will bend the rays towards the optic axis. That's all it will do. A able to understand. And if a ray is passing through the focus after refraction, it should become parallel. Okay, I think these are the two primary things which we'll be using this for converging lens. So similarly, we'll go for the diverging lens. Uh, this is the, uh, for image tracing, we'll be using this particular method. Similarly, we'll try for diverging lens. Let me keep the Okay, let me explain one by one. This is the first one. This is the optic axis. Optic center, uh, optic axis passing through optic center. Then if a ray is incident parallel to the optic axis, after refraction it will diverge from a point the point of divergence will be the second focus. Okay, now, if a ray passes through an optic center, it should go undeviated. Then, if a ray is incident, in some arbitrary direction, after refraction, what it does? It, it will just diverge. If it is incident, it will diverge. So altogether, what is this lens? It will diverge. It's a diverging lens. It will bend the rays away from the optic axis. Diverging lens. Converging lens. It will bend the rays. The incident rays are, are, are bent towards the... The incident rays are bent towards the optic axis. Diverging lens. The incident rays are bent towards the... Uh, are away from the optic axis. I think that the basic difference is what usually we see between mm -hmm. 
I think complete view is there. So they were diverging. This is a basic property here. How do we construct the diverging and converging lens and all? So that we'll see in the lens maker formula. Okay, fine. This one. So every time what happens, we must uh, take help of the ray diagram. This is one basic uh, method of uh, tracing out the image, the, the, the basic idea of that one. So how to trace out an image? Next question comes. If you keep an object, okay, this is about parallel beam. If you keep an object, how to trace out an image? Okay, fine. So this is about the, the basic idea of the converging lens and the diverging, the basic property. Okay, let's take the, the next one. 